Good Friday afternoon, everybody. June 22nd, 2018. Welcome to another edition of Talking Fitchburg. From the home of all news, Fact TV. Like that? That could be our new saying. I'm Jeremy. I got Andrew here. Scott is still in his office. That's where he always is. Sometimes he helps out with the show. Sometimes he's just in his office. Sometimes. Sometimes we just wonder if he'll ever come on the show and be a guest. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Which you couldn't keep, hear in the background. We, no, <laughs> no, nope. deny. We keep a mystery of who Scott really is. I know it, it is. It's sort of been this mystery uh, person, like yep. who's Scott? Why does they always talk about Scott? Scott, Scott, Scott. I've never seen this guy. Yeah, who is this Scott? Sorry. Well, he's a crime fighter. <laughs> he's a crime fighter by Wait, day. Wait, a beer drinking crime fighter <laughs> by day. Lawn chair enthusiast. Lawn chair enthusiast by night. <laughs> That's a pretty good description, I think. Uh, I, I like know. it. I do. I do too. Okay. Hey, Andrew. Yesterday, yes, I, I went out. Uh, so uh, went out to the Wisconsin DOT yeah. to the open house last night. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we've got some fans over there. So talking with Steve Tyson. Okay. He uh, he, first thing I said, I walk in. And I was like, Hey, Steve. He's like, Hey, Jeremy. He's like, You know, you can pick up the phone, Jeremy, and call me anytime, <laughs> right? And I was like, Well, what do you mean? And he's like, Well, I heard you guys talking on the show. You and Andrew were arguing about uh, the. Uh, uh, the cement breakup machine and yeah, uh, pulverizer. Which one you were using? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I would say we're arguing. We're discussing which one was being used. I, I don't know if we're arguing. Either way. <laughs> <laughs> we Steve. know he watches the show. Yeah. So Thanks, Steve. We may have to get him on the show to, to be uh, break out, break down every piece of equipment. There you go. Mm. I'm down. Be big rig Can day. You tell from me the what a jackhammer project. is and does. <laughs> Can you bring one for demonstration, please? <laughs> and thank you. That'd be awesome. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Shout out to Wisconsin DOT, uh, mm-hmm. Steve Tice, all the crews over there. Mm-hmm. Y'all, y'all are rocking it. Y'all. So, uh, yeah. So, saying that, that means only one thing. That Steve will be on our show today, giving us an update of uh, looking back here on kind of what uh, what crews have been doing on Verona Road and uh, what will be coming up here uh, in the next quarter uh, for construction and uh yeah even the rain hasn't slowed them down they're uh they're moving forward andrew might be one question you were thinking oh like hmm. that's good so we'll get all of your questions answered there plus uh speaking of the rain we sent uh scott out yesterday in the rain to the uh, strawberry fest yeah that still happened yesterday strawberry fest at the farmer's market we'll talk a little about that in uh, headlines and uh then electric cars last night Kind of a cool, uh, cool little electric cars. A little talk last night. Uh, mm-hmm. We got some video from that as well. So a very, uh, very busy show, as usual, for a Friday. So uh, let's get right to it. And we start with uh, Strawberry Fest at the Fitchburg Farmer's Market. It may have been wet, but the strawberries were there for the picking. <laughs> Strawberry Fest at the Fitchburg Center Farmers Market. Um, it's held every third Thursday in June, and today we have the Fitchburg Lions selling two-dollar Culver Sundays, and we also have um, lots of other treats here with strawberry themes. We have the rolling pin here with cookies and torts and cakes, and then we have live music going on behind me, and that's the music of Bidana. And that's an Irish Celtic band that is out of Evansville. And they are gracing us with the beautiful Celtic tunes that we have today. And it kind of feels like Ireland with the gentle rains that are coming down and all the green, beautiful grass that we have today. So when the market first started, uh, there wasn't as many people in the area. There wasn't quite as many employees in the area or development. And to encourage people to come to our market, we decided to start holding events on the third Thursday of the month during the summer. And so we have, we started with Strawberry Fest, then we went to Kids Fest, which is in July. In August, we have a summer fest and we do a pig roast. And then in um, September, we have our fall fest and we have carriage rides and um, lots of fall themed activities, uh, pumpkins, gourds, you know, all those kind of fall things that you look for and like to decorate your homes with and stuff like that. So um, 
you know, they've just continued to grow over the years. Now that there's quite a few more people in Fitchburg and in the area, we get quite a crowd. Even on this rainy day, I must say we have the best customers, but we also have the best vendors. We have Natalie's Garden and Greenhouse. She has some of the most beautiful dahlias you've ever seen, hanging baskets. She also, as the season rolls on, she has some great produce. We have Scott Chipman. He's with Chippy's Kettle Corn, and he has, I think, the best lemonade that you can buy, as well as kettle corn, which is always a popular favorite. We have Kyle Tom. He's with Rootsdown Farm. He's our organic vendor. Uh, he's been uh, doing CSAs and just the most amazing produce you can imagine. Some things I've, I've never even seen uh, elsewhere you can find here. He's got beautiful beets today. We have another organic vendor. Uh, it's called the Scott Lazar. They have a small farm out in uh, Argyle. They've built quite a following here too. And then of course the Rolling Pin, which is probably Fitchburg's favorite bakery. She has just an amazing selection of breads and pastries, pies, just about anything that you would need or want to find at a farmer's market you can find here at the Fitchburg Center Farmer's Market. All right, there you have it. Fun at the farmer's market. Don't let that rain slow you down. How about those uh, cheese curds? Oh, they just look so I good. Love cheese Cajun. curds. Hey, welcome back. Hi. <laughs> Good stuff there. Yeah, that's uh, that's fun. All right, all the way through the summer. And then they move indoors. So uh, you can just keep uh, getting that uh, farmer's market action on all, all summer long. It's great stuff. All right, moving on. Looking forward to the uh, weekend here. You got a couple events coming up. Uh, first, we'll look to Sunday. It's the Puppy Up Champions Against Cancer. That's right. This will be on uh, Sunday, uh, June 24th. That's 10 a.m to uh 2 p.m at mckee farms park you know where that is 2930 chapel valley road cost is 25 dollars and uh, it says here puppy up madison is returning to mckee farms park this is a family focused event for all humans and canines to enjoy andrew you're in puppy up raises awareness funds Ooh. and provides education in the field of um, comparative oncology and the links between canine and human cancer it is a day to honor and recognize those who have survived or are battling cancer and memorialize those who live or have been uh, lost to this disease. Meet our canine and human, human, human heroes and visit our sponsors and vendors. Join music, food, and fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, Puppy Up Madison has now contributed over 500000 to the Puppy Up Foundation. Awesome. So. Hopefully you can make it out there. We'll have a crew out. I think it's going to be me out there. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm looking forward to seeing all of the uh, the humans and canines. <laughs> I just think that's cool. It's cool to say that. All right. All right. How about Saturday? Saturday, Bio Blitz at Lake Farm County Park. This is 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. This is a really cool event, folks. You want to come out to this one. The Milwaukee Public Museum is sponsoring their very first Bio Blitz in Dane County at Lake Farm County Park. Over 100, Andrew, scientists from many different fields of study will identify as many plants and animal species as they can within a 24-hour period. What are we talking about here, Andrew? I don't know. What are we talking about? We're talking about spiders. We're talking about insects, mammals, plants, fish, reptiles, Anything and many, and everything. many other uh, things they can identify. So stop on by. It's going to be fun. Again, uh, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. We also have a crew out there uh, covering this one as well. I just want to see what this is all about. I'm, I'm yeah, pumped. That's cool. I am pumped. All right. Last but not least, uh, getting you uh, informed of uh, Boys and Girls Club having a couple of listening sessions coming up here. Let's take a look here. And, uh, yeah, informational gathering sessions uh, will be held on June 25th and 26th from 7 to 8 p.m. Uh, the 25th will be held at the Taft Street site, uh, 2001 Taft Street in Madison, the Boys and Girls Club over there. The second one at the Allied uh, Family uh, Center, and that's at uh, 4619 Genoa Road in uh, Madison. So you can stop on by and, uh, yeah, with uh, the uh, Michael Johnson uh, moved on. They're uh, excited to invite you all in for informational gathering session to discuss what you are looking for in the next president and CEO. Bring your thoughts and ideas and how the future of the organization and role of the CIO will shape or the Boys and Girls Club of Dane County moving forward. So get your uh, input in. 
uh, if you can by stopping by at the two nights, uh, two different sessions there. So easy peasy. That's all I got for you uh, for your headlines. Coming up next, we're opening up the digest segment talking about electric cars. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Here next. Don't unplug. Come on back. You're watching Talking Fitchburg. That's right. I did it. <laughs> 